All right, uh, Shalom, Shalom, my kid. would like to uh, first off and foremost give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rikakwadash, the blind city elders and apostles, the great millstone rule well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect out the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and diligence. All right, uh, it's Brother Loya from the great millstone, Lake Charles, Louisiana, camp coming back again with another brief lesson. And as always, you know, Lord will it be edifying to the Lord's elect. You know, as you can see, um, the title of this, uh, you know, lesson, man, uh, all these things must happen you know everything around us everything that we've been through everything that we're going to leading up to uh you know that great deliverance you know and destruction uh you know of this uh, present world that we're in you know so all of these things must happen so that what the will of your house may be fulfilled all right we have to understand that we're we're not in control all right the things which we must suffer right and i'll start with that one this is the book of uh this is the book of Romans. This is the book of Romans, chapter 8 and uh, verse 16. Uh, Salakia. Creature was... Okay, this is Romans 8 and 20. It says, For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, you see, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. So by, by Yahweh, by Shemiah, Shah ultimately subjecting us, you know, uh, putting us in a position to have hope, that means in order to have hope, we have to go through certain situations in our lives, man. Ultimately, we'll build up that faith and increase, you know, the faith that's that's needed or required for us to call on Yahweh Shai in the times to come. You know, but it says not willingly, but, but by reason of him who have subjected. You see, so that shows that Yahweh Shem Shai has all power. You know, the Heavenly Father gave that dominion over to Yahweh Shai. So these things are ultimately being um, orchestrated within the heavens. All right. No matter what goes on. Okay. And that's one thing that we must uh, continue to keep in mind, okay? When we look at uh, Yahweh Shai, for an example, when he was brought before uh, uh, Pontius Pilate, you know? He was brought before Pontius Pilate, and he was found without fault, you know? Yet, when, when he, he uh, spoke, you know, he, he spoke real, real seldomly, you know? He didn't get angry because they, they uh, uh, bonded him up. He understood that what all of these things must happen. Likewise, us in these situations that we're in uh, as of today. All right, so this is Proverbs 19 and 21, and I ultimately, you know, just went into um, the Bible, you know, and searched, searched up, uh, you know, verses showing that, uh, you know, the Most High is in control. All right, so this is Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 21. I'll go through a few of them, Lord willing, you know, it'd be edifying. This is uh, Proverbs 19 and 21. It says, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Most High Yahweh that shall stand, you see? So the counsel of the Lord, whatever the Heavenly Father has, or Yahweh Shah has, you know, orchestrated within the heavens right now, you know, that's what's going to stand. That's what's going to be. All right. The Lord is going to allow those angels to, you know, come down, you know, uh, uh, go throughout the earth, you know, have those spirits mingling. All right. To do what they do in order to bring forth whether, whether it's judgment, whether it's uh, righteousness, whether, you know, you have those on the left hand side doing wickedness, you know, so that the will of the Lord can stand. All right, this is Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know that, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Most High Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. See, so ultimately that's, that goes right back to our hope, seeing that and knowing that, you know, uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim al is in control, man. The Lord is a um, terrible power. You know, it tells us that uh, fearful uh, is it to fall into the hands of the living power, man. So we haven't, and expect the end by, by way of us who are laying down our lives, all right, and looking and, and being comforted, you know, uh, according to the scriptures, you know. But the Lord said what uh, uh, what he's going to give us that expected end, you know. Because at the end of the day, when we look at uh, certain judgments or certain, uh, so according to this present world, they are called with bad situations. Those bad situations are ultimately uh, chastening us so that we can uh, turn uh, uh, more and more to Yahweh by Shemel Shai, you know, so that we can be uh, more obedient, so that we can call upon uh, the Heavenly Father more, all right? Let me see. And that's what, you know, ultimately these people in this in this world today, man, they fail to realize, you know, if, if they could, they would have a perfect life, man, but that's not how it was set up, all right? According to, uh, what is that, uh, Sirach 40, man, Great Chaville shall uh, uh, be, you know, upon the sons of Adam until we return to the mother of all things, man. You see? This is a good one. This is Isaiah 55 and uh, verse 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, 
said the most high Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the, than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. You see, so we ultimately must uh, consider and desire to uh, have the Heavenly Father's ways be uh, fulfilled. You know, it says in my thoughts, then your thoughts. Verse 10, it says, for as the rain coming down and the snow from heaven and returning not thither, but water, but water the earth and make it and make it it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the soul and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth man and we can clearly see that the words of Yahweh Shemal going back to what these prophecies man they have been spoken they are written in the scriptures and by way of uh, having the prophets be the mouth of the Lord we are spoken and now you can see it man you can see them ushering in this chip you can see them uh, 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 having a great multitudes of bread lack being lacking the uh, in the land, you know, that goes to show what the, the prophecy of the scriptures are real, man. All right, it says it shall not return unto me void. So everything that the Lord uh, sets in uh, st sets in stone, uh, yeah, sets in stone, you know, that's what it's gonna be. All right, the Lord's way is, is real, real adamant, and nothing is gonna change it. All right, it says, but it shall accomplish that which I please. So at the end of the day, we have to ultimately consider what is pleasing unto Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. All right, it says, and it shall prosper in the thing where until I sent it. You see, meaning it's gonna happen. All right, whatever the Lord says, that's what it's gonna be. All right, we can't ask the Lord to change a certain thing. No, that's exactly what it is because He ultimately has a, a, a greater and better reason for doing everything that He did, man. Just like when He brought us. Uh, here into slavery you know you you ask the uh you know the average jake and they would say well all he had to do is tell us well he constantly warned us but what us as a nation we didn't listen you know so guess what the the, the, the best way for that was was slavery you know to give you that chastening that you needed and you still have you know two-thirds of our nation that that wouldn't uh respect neither hearken unto the words of the prophets after you've been chastened, after you've been beaten by Esau, Edom, you know, all of these years, you know, but that's because they ultimately don't want to seek the righteous ways of how about Shemiah Shah. They feel as if they, they know it all, you know, and that's one thing that we, we greatly understand coming into this truth, man. All right. We, we understand that uh, uh, the things that you how about Shemiah Shah, please will be done, you know, uh, on earth. All right. And the next thing that we're looking at up at is. You know, first and foremost, uh, them ushering in this chip. And then, hey, man, you got those missiles that's going to drop, you know. Which we are approaching the times of Jacob's trouble as well. You know, which is a, a, another great prophecy, man. Which we we must go through, you know. And that's why the scripture says that what uh, he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Okay. This is uh, Psalms 115 and verse 3. It says, but our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, is in the heavens. He had done whatsoever he had pleased. <laughs> you see, he had done whatever he pleased, man. He's the one that has uh, 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 that, that that top seat. All right. He's the one that caused the shots. He's the one that uh, everyone has to uh, report in, uh, uh, back to. OK, so he's going to orchestrate everything according to what he wants to. This is a this is his creation. All right. Even down to, to the elements, to the to the souls, you see. To the things which we can't see, they all belong to you. How about Shimei Al Shai? You know, now, now he's ultimately created those things for our sakes. You know, but ultimately, what man, uh, his will still must be done, and it will be done. Okay, this is Ephesians 1 11. It says, In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. You see. So no one can go and tell the Lord that he's wicked for, you know, anything that he has done throughout the earth, man. Uh, it tells us that. Let me get it real quick. This is Wisdom of Solomon, uh, the 12th chapter. You know, no one can go and tell the Lord he's wicked for something that he had happen or he's unrighteous. You know, <laughs> this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 12. Let me see. Bear with me, I can. Yep, yep. This is Wisdom Solomon 12 and uh, verse 12. It says, For who shall say what has thou done? And you have Jason that, that spirit 
or, or even Esau eat him, you know? Why you why you did this? Why you made us like this? You see? Or why you had this happen to me? <laughs> it says, or who shall withstand thy judgment? Or who shall accuse thee for the nations that perish? You see, whom thou made. Who's gonna go back and and be like, man, uh, why they these people were put to death? Or why they they, they wasn't uh, uh uh wicked, not knowing that we all have a past. You know, they all had a past. And the Lord requires the past, you see? And it still goes back to what the Heavenly Father wants, you know? It says, Whom thou hast made, and who shall come to stand against thee to be revenged for the unrighteous men, you see? Which clearly lets it be known that what? They were put to death or they perished because they were unrighteous. Whether you knew that, uh, or whether you didn't know that uh, they were uh, unrighteous or for not. It was a cursed because seed the from eyes the of Yahweh Shemiah Shah were 10,000. Neither did thou for fear of any man the give them pardon for those things, things wherein you know? they sinned. The Lord for is ultimately going back to what they're there. What their hast thou course, done, or who right? shall withstand thy judgment? For he shall accuse thee for the nations that perish. Whom thou made, or who shall come to stand against thee to be revenged for the unrighteous men? For neither is there any God. That thou that that careth for okay. all, to so whom thou uh, mightest show that, that, that thy judgment world, is man. not unright. You know? Neither shall king or tyrant be able to set his face against thee for any who thou hast punished. For so much then as thou art righteous thyself, thou orderest all things righteously, thinking it not agreeable with thy power to condemn him that hath not deserved to be punished. For thy power is the beginning of righteousness, and because thou art the Lord of all, it maketh thee to be gracious unto all. You know, for when men will not be believe that thou art you know, the full power, whether it be suffering, thou shewest thy strength, and among them that know that thou makest their boldness manifest. But thou, manifest. Thou, manifest. But 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 thou, manifest.